The governor of Arizona welcoming Afghan refugees to his state today. Governor Doug Ducey and Speaker of the House Rusty Bowers today released a statement regarding Afghans fleeing the Taliban regime and seeking refuge in the United States. They say, quote, Arizona wholeheartedly welcomes our fair share of the refugees in our state when they have been cleared for entry into the United States for their service to our military. We are ready to welcome them and help them settle into their new home in the land of the free, end quote. Well, new images continue to emerge tonight from Afghanistan, where thousands of Americans and Afghan special visa applicants are clamoring to evacuate. Natalie Brain has the very latest tonight from our nation's capital. This newly released video shows a little girl handed to U.S. troops over a wall at Kabul's International Airport. Another shows a woman being helped over. Inside a U.S. airbase in Qatar, crowds of Afghan citizens wait to have their documents processed. The Biden administration says 12,000 people have been transported out of the country since the end of July, including American citizens and Afghan allies. But there are still tens of thousands waiting to get out. The department is sending consular staffing teams to Qatar and Kuwait to assist with the transit effort and we're preparing teams to surge to other processing locations as well. The State Department has sent more messages urging U.S. citizens and green card holders to come to the airport, though they cannot guarantee safe passage. The Pentagon says it's still working towards its goal of evacuating up to 9,000 people a day. The CENTCOM uh, command team will continue uh, to bring in the airflow required uh, to fly out those people. President Biden is pushing back on criticism of the drawdown, including from members of his own party, saying he doesn't believe the U.S. could have withdrawn from Afghanistan at any time without chaos. In an interview with ABC News, the president said he would have pulled out regardless of the deal made by the previous administration. Your top military advisors warned against withdrawing on this timeline. They wanted you to keep about 2,500 troops. No, they didn't. It was split. No, that, that wasn't true. The president suggested U.S. forces could stay in Afghanistan past the August 31st deadline until all Americans are evacuated. Natalie Brandt, CBS News, Washington.